So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for I'm sorry for The lights went G'day you guys and happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another little episode of Kiz and I just trying to do the stuff we love. This week we are heading out to the beautiful Berry Springs to have a lovely morning dip. We are also doing a bit of redneck fishing which you guys are gonna love. If you haven't seen last week's episode yet, we were... What did we do last week? Oh, last week we were at Crocosaurus Cove and Crocodilus Park. We have had a bit of a crocosaur... Crocosaur? Crocodile? Crocodile couple of weeks which has been epic. So if you haven't seen those episodes yet, Hit the links above and go watch them after this episode because we don't want you to miss out on this action. Anyway, let's get on with the episode. You are going to love it. Enjoy. All right, here good, we are again. Good morning. We haven't gone about... filming in a while. No, I was just about to say that. Where are we at? Uh, we're at Berry Springs this morning. So we thought, we've, Kieran's got a day off today and I'm still not working, which is lovely. We thought we would take you down and show you Berry Springs. It's one of probably the best and cheapest things you can do in Darwin. So Berry Springs is half an hour from where we live in Girraween, but probably about 45 to 50 minutes from Darwin Centre. But it's worth it if you can get out here if you have a car or something. Um, it's a beautiful pool where you can go for a swim and there's parklands and great places to have picnics. So we thought we'd bring our breakfast down here nice and early because as you can see, the sun is still coming up. And we'll give you a bit of a tour and the things you can do around here. So I think what I really appreciate at Barry Springs, I actually came here a week ago with my mum and dad when they were in town. That'll probably be its own standalone episode. But this whole area here has barbecues and picnic tables and heaps of change rooms and toilets. It's very well set up to have like a day out and enjoy it with your family. And then the pool itself is broken up into three sections. There's the top section with the waterfall and you can actually swim through to the middle section, which is the biggest, and then the bottom section, which is the deepest, which I think is really, really cool. Um, but you can also walk to all those areas as well. So if it is quite busy, particularly on the school holidays, it gets crazy here, um, in the dry season in particular, there is plenty of space for you to still be able to enjoy yourself. So this is Kieran's favourite time of the day to fly the drones. It is all but deserted. There's about three people down at the other pools. So he's gonna get some beautiful shots, hopefully, with our new drone. Yeah. But we'd totally recommend it. It's stunning. So this is the bottom pool. And um, we're gonna get a couple of shots just diving in the water here. And then kids are gonna drive, drive, fly the drone up the river a bit and get some cool shots. Well done. Happy birthday to me. Yeah. Such a great drone. Mwah. You are more than welcome. Look where we have arrived to. I've already done this bit, so Kieran is going to go under the waterfall, aren't you? I'm going to go under it. Yeah, off you go. Right. Let me just put my goggles on.
bit cold? Oh, I'm just terrible. I can't. <laughs> you got to admit though, the water was very warm, wasn't it? No, the water was it's very warm. It's just the breeze when you hop out. But we are in, what, July, so it's... And we have acclimatised to the dark weather. Climatized. So it's, even though it might be 25 degrees, sorry Melbourne, but <laughs> it's, um, it is what it is. So we've had a really good swim and it's starting to get really busy here now. I'm in really bad lighting. Let me find some better lighting for you. Maybe there. Oh my god, the lighting's terrible. Um, so yeah, it's starting to get really busy now. It's what time is it, babe? It's 20 past 10. It's 20 past 10, so we've been here for about two hours, which is pretty good. And um, we're going to head up to the picnic tables and um, have some fruit. And then I think we might go out for breakfast because Kieran has convinced me, the sly little boy. And, um, you yeah, then you can come with us and go on the rest of our little day. But this was Berry Spring, so if you're in Darwin, we highly recommend you come and check it out. Kieran won the breakfast off this morning. I normally Here's do, don't I? Sriracha hollandaise with halloumi cheese and a poached egg. And I got a pitiful basil and halloumi with the driest scrambled eggs I've ever had. But, you know, if you win some, you lose you some. some, you lose some. Absolutely. But this is delicious. Yeah, it looks up. So you guys, there is honestly a kajillion things you can do in Darwin. Don't listen to what they say. Darwin is not boring. We absolutely loved it. We spent most of our time though, honestly, playing cricket, working and tanning on the beach. However, there was one epic thing we did and it was so left of field and you probably haven't heard of it before, but we want to show you. It was seriously so much fun. Check this out. Well, let me tell you a little something about me. When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam. I don't trust this. <laughs> One, two, three, go! <laughs> Taken as well. Yeah, by my I'll do it with my teeth. You are going to lose your face. Am I going to lose my face if I do it with my teeth? Oh, <laughs> it kissed me. It probably I fell his lip. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> I don't think it liked your finger better than it did the fish. So who doesn't love a bit of redneck fishing? I'm pretty sure I never have and never will fish like that again. That was bloody terrifying. But anyway, hope you love that episode. Next week we have our epic South Darwin road trip where we head through Kakadu, out to Catherine and hit up the gorgeous Mataranka. It's going to be a few part series, not sure how many yet, but we had a ball. It was probably our favourite road trip and our only road trip in Darwin, but you can't really go to Darwin without visiting Kakadu. So stay tuned for that one guys, if you haven't already hit subscribe, 
like this video if you did enjoy it and make sure you're following us on Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date with all of our little adventures and we will catch you next Wednesday. Bye. What's happening? We mate, subscribe to our channel.